Leaving aside public policy issues, I think a major reason as to why so many Canadians have soured on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party of Canada is they rightfully perceive them to be massive whiners. Justin Trudeau and the Liberals currently control the federal government, as we all know, and yet they constantly whine about everybody criticizing them. They play victim, and they even try to blame other people for all their policy failures and even some of their internal party scandals. It's super annoying to watch as a member of the general public. We can't solve the problems for them, and so we rightfully criticize them for doing the wrong thing. And be, when we criticize them, Trudeau and the Liberals then whine at us for having even spoken up. And the person they like to whine the most about is Conservative Party leader Pierre Polyev. Apparently, it's actually very bad for Pierre Polyev to do his job. Pierre Polyev's job as the opposition leader in the House of Commons is to oppose all the bad things he sees the Liberal Party doing. And increasingly these days, it's pretty much everything they're doing is wrong. And that has led to these very two embarrassing posts by members of the Liberal Party. First, Liberal Party MP Ryan Turnbull and Ch Chief of Staff to Justin Trudeau, Katie Telford, saying that it's actually bad for the country for Pierre Polyev to be attacking Justin Trudeau. The quote they take out of this article is, Pierre Polyev is so singularly focused and personal in his comments, so unconstructive in his criticism, so scorched earth in his approach to what's wrong, he is contributing to a breakdown in overall faith in the system. Wow. No, it's not Pierre Polyev contributing to a breakdown in the trust in the system. It's you guys making the wrong decisions constantly that is making people criticize you. The, there's no breakdown in faith of the system. Either people have faith in the system because it's running well, or they don't because it's not running well. There's never been a system that runs fantastically through just sheer criticism people don't like. That's not how anything actually works. There has to be problems present for there to be a breakdown in faith. If everything was perfect, nobody would be saying anything. That's why in the first four years of Justin Trudeau's liberal government, there wasn't as much criticism because all the problems that he had been starting to cause hadn't really sort of bubbled up to the surface yet. So people were fine to not criticize Trudeau and let him go on his merry way. Now that all of the problems are coming home to roost and Pierre Polly is pointing them out, no, it's not the Liberal Party's responsibility to try and pivot their governmental policy and find better ways of doing things and sort of make up for the problems that they've caused. No, it's actually Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives' responsibility, as well as members of the Canadian public, to stop criticizing. You know, if the police are getting a lot of calls about crime, it's not that they maybe need to go and try to start to crack down on crime. It's not really the police's fault. It's usually public policymakers preventing police from doing it. But it's not it's not the police's job to crack down on crime. It's your job not to call the police because you calling the police is causing the reports to go up, which is causing the recorded crime rate to go up. If you just disconnect your phone, the crime rate will go down because you won't be uh, reporting the crime anymore. This is the actual logic that the liberals are running on right now, that if criticism stop coming in, then problems stop because criticisms point out problems. And if we stop pointing out problems, maybe we can ignore the problems and the problems will go away as a pathetic way of acting. And this is something that really bothers the Canadian general public, just as it would bother the general public in any country. If you are the government in power, never complain about what people are saying about you. It makes you look like a whiner, and it makes you look like you're not in control, which the Liberal Party is not. Yes, they have control of the government, but they're really not in control of the public policy situation. And to highlight just the sheer amount of whining, I just now want to cut to this post that Mark Gerritsen made on X, whining about Pierre Pauly of getting an endorsement from Alex Jones. Pierre Pauly have rightfully responded to the endorsement he got from Alex Jones and says, I don't follow him and I don't care. But this is something that Mark Garrison thinks the public should deeply care about. So he posted this yesterday. We've got uh, the new Canadian leader set to beat Trudeau, uh, who's totally anti-New World Order. I mean, you look all over the world, we are rising right now. But that concerns me because the deep state globalists are going to throw out everything they've got. They're going to pull out all the stops. Okay, well, yeah, I guess... 
Alex Jones is kind of wacky, but Mark Garrettson posted above this, endorsements from the most extreme conspiracy theorists should be a big red flag. You guys got endorsed by Hamas. I, I don't know what to tell you on that. I mentioned that in a video yesterday, but this, this is not just campaigning. This is whining. There's no actual substance to to the criticism of people criticizing you, that's what turns it from criticism into just whining. It's just high school nonsense. Justin Trudeau is a high school prime minister. He wants to everyone to just love him, and if they don't love him, then he has a problem with it. It's very much just the mean girls mentality that you can't sit at the table with us because you're not our friend. That's the way that Justin Trudeau thinks he's going to win the next election. Basically creating this idea that if you're one of the elite good people, you can sit at the table with us. And if you're not, well, you should go hang out with that terrible troglodyte Pure Polyev. He, nobody's friends with Pure Polyev. Nobody votes for Pure Polyev. Only losers vote for Pure Polyev. I can't believe he's criticizing us. He's really making uh, this, entire, this entire community toxic. Guys. Nobody likes that person. Nobody likes that person in, you know, high school or university. People who just talk about other people in negative terms while they are the ones responsible for all the problems. Everyone knows what you're doing and nobody's going to be voting for you in the next election. Anyways, that should be it for me today, guys. Quickly, I just want to shamelessly plug the fact that I am running in Calgary Signal Hill. My name is Wyatt Claypool. If you live on the west side of Calgary in this riding, this is what the new boundaries will look like after April. Buy a party membership for the conservatives and, uh, you know, check out my website in the description below, wyattclaypool.com. And you can also donate if you don't live in my riding to the legal fund for myself and the National Telegraph. We're being sued by a billionaire and it's cost us more than $26,000 fighting back. And we have another $3,000 legal bill coming up here. here. Ugh, I can't talk. So if you can contribute anything to the legal fund, it does help us meet our costs and it really helps us take the burden off of this legal fight and allows us to put more money back into the National Telegraph and grow the reach of this platform. Anyways, that should be it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.